Hi, good afternoon. This is Katie Singing Eagle, Catherine McNabb, and I'm coming to you with uh, another little quip about my life. Um, I am a minister. Um, I am also a medicine woman and in indigenous Native American ways. And I am um, ordained Christian minister. I am a trained cantor in the Jewish Hebrew ways. I have studied with clerics, Islamic clerics, and I have um, studied and under Krishna consciousness swamis, um, particularly His Grace um, Radhana Swami. And I also am, am known in some different other ways. I belong to Condorigo Chapter House of the Nimitha, and I am a member of the Columbus Krishna House. I also am a former member of Columbus Christian Center, and I am a uh, visit with the Vineyard Ministries Church here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, I'm not dogmatic in any of my beliefs. I consider myself a very spiritual person. Someone has a motorcycle outside. Um, it is a warm day here in central Ohio. Um, I live at the corner of Hudson and High right now, and um, I am currently looking for another apartment that goes by income. My income um, right now at present is um, about 800 a month, um, a little under with um, food assistance. So I am a very low income and I watch what I spend and I spend what I get very wisely. My rent right now is $500 a month and then with utilities that comes up to and car insurance and all that comes up way over um, leave me maybe about fifty dollars a month to live on every month when everything gets paid um, I am currently looking for a part-time job particularly in the nonprofit field and I am going to be starting soon my own nonprofit I'm gathering information looking into data I'll be going back to school in January to finish my business degree um, if I get a scholarship and I'm looking for a full-ride scholarship and I will be starting a program in August in order to gain that full ride scholarship because um, the way the student loans and the government thing has gone, my student loans that I've had in the past are way over what my income and where I'm at can take care of anymore. I am a survivor. I have survived cancer. I have survived losing the use of my legs twice. My left leg is basically a prosthetic from hip to ankle. There's metal rods. I've yet to get a uh, operation on my hands because of carpal tunnel syndrome and arthritic spurs that have formed themselves in my hands. I am a fighter. Most people that know me know that I am a fighter and I am a survivor. Um, I lost my mom in June of 13. Um, I have an older sister um, and family. Since my mom's passing, we have kind of been displaced from each other. Um, I talked to my older brother. I haven't talked to my younger brother in a long time, not really since my mom's passing, um, nor my stepfather, nor been able to get in our, um, what was our family home out in near Newark, Ohio. I'll leave that stuff up to the Lord. Um, many of my family photos, pictures, all that stuff, um, antiques, stored things are still in that house. But <laughs> what can you do? It's only stuff. We are not our material possessions. Um, and mainly what I have and what I do, I use for ministry purposes and for nonprofit purposes and going out and doing the service and the work that I am called to do. Um, and I don't want to get weary in well-doing um, because I know the blessings are coming, the blessings are here, and I live by faith and grace of the Divine Source, my Lord 
my Savior, um, Jesus, <laughs> known by one name. He's known by Jesus, Krishna, Allah. He's known by Waikin. He's known by, um, in another sense, I was just talking to someone last night, and he's known by other names. Um, Rast Rastafari. <laughs> Rastafari. Um, Jai, you know. Um, and that, in uh, Jamaican language, um, the Lord is known by m many names. Even someone I talked to a while back, when she prayed, she, she called the name Bob. So she just liked that name, and she liked to call the Lord. But he, she knows the parents, the divine parents, the Lord and the Lady know who we are talking about when we call on the holy names. Shekinah, Elohim, Baruch, Ahem, Shadonai. Eloheinu, whatever you call the Lord, however you call him, whatever the greeting is, the Lord knows his own, and the Lord takes care of his own. The divine parents know. So, sorry to get weepy, but Whenever I think of the goodness of the Lord, whenever I think of my blessings, whenever I think of the glory that has been given me over my life and the miracles, I was supposed to die in December of 2001, but I'm still here. One time I was given five months to live. Some people in my family don't even believe that, and my records are documented over there at... Ohio State University Hospitals or Wexner Hospitals, whatever they're calling it these days. But my medical records have been there since age 16 when I was too old to go to Children's Hospital. So I have had my knees operated on, my legs operated on, my ankle. I've had broken bones. I've had a twisted wrist, sprain, collarbone. Um, Many things have happened to me. I have fought um, obesity since childhood, since I can remember. And I'm still here. I'm a survivor. I have even, along the lines, had some um, life attempts, um, suicidal attempts. I hate to say that when I was in my teenage years. Um, there's been dark days in my life, but um, I have fought and I have survived and I have come through. I lived in New York seven and a half years and I loved it. I had a good time there. Um, it was it was not an easy thing to do to move and, and go live in New York City but I did it just to prove to myself that I could and that I can live and survive in a big city. Um, it wasn't e like I said it wasn't easy but I made good friends. I worked at some nice places. Um, Rockefeller Center. Um, I worked at the Juilliard School. I worked in uh, a couple of nonprofits. I worked for AmeriCorps Vista. I worked for Habitat for Humanity. Um, I worked for um, the City of New York through Good Good Temps, which is a goodwill um, agency. And I survived, had a good time, had a nice studio apartment in downtown Brooklyn, nice neighborhood right near a, um, Atlantic and Flatbush where there's a nice, you know, grocery store across the street, all the main subway stations were there, um, and I had some wonderful connections, had some wonderful relationships, male relationships, and, um, had a couple of nice girlfriends that I hung with. My little Tulasi beads broke. I got to get another set. But I'm 51 years old. And every so many years, I find myself reinventing myself. I have to redo me or, or find a new way to survive. 
and I don't want to say I'm getting tired, but I am. I've got to find something permanent for me to do, something to take me into um, and help me through my through old age, which is coming. I hope I never have to retire because I've seen what retiring and stopping does to people. It makes them old. They withdraw. They shrivel up. And eventually they transition to the next life. I want to keep working, doing good, helping the community, doing what it is for me to do on my path until time for me to transition to the next life. My mom did that. My mom pretty much worked and did what she wanted to do until um, her 71st birthday and then after that January then she declined until she just her health and everything until it was time for her to go. Um, I want to live past 71. I want to keep doing good and I want to keep working in my community and I want to keep doing what it is my um, divine parents want me to do until that time it is for me to go. Um, but that's my life right now. I am looking to work. I am looking to do better. I am looking to move forward, advance, um, increase my quality of life. Um, it's hard doing what I do, living on what I live on. But I do it by the grace and the faith that has brought me this far through 51 and a half years so far. So um, blessings to all of you. Keep the faith. This is Katie Singing Eagle, Catherine McNabb. I love you. Blessings to everyone. And may your life be full of peace, love, and increase in all good things for the highest good. Namaste, Shalom, and Amen.